Yeah. yeah. When you have a, an old computer, it doesn't work anymore. You're supposed to have it recycled. Yes. You know, and usually that means taking it to one of those electronic recycling places. There's another way to recycle those old computers and turn them into, believe it or not, something beautiful. Yeah, and it's really remarkable what this one business is doing, um, what this one woman is doing, how she's repurposed old computer parts. Uh, that business is where we find our Ashley Dorsbacher live this morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, we are with Amanda of Circuit Breaker Labs, and they were talking about how we recycle our old computer parts, and that's where you find a lot of these parts that you use at the places that we take our stuff to go recycle, right? That's a good source. Um, plus, a lot of colleges and universities have, you know, broken equipment and things like that, so I can go in and take those things off their hands. Yeah. And when I do a lot of events, people are like, oh, I have stuff in my basement that I haven't touched in 10 years. Why don't you take it and turn it into something? Because it's a lot better than sitting here collecting dust. Yeah, that you can make it a necklace, earrings, tie, <laughs> tie, tie pin, cufflinks, anything really, mm -hmm. and even ornaments. And to do more of that intricate stuff, you use this. What is this? So this is a CNC milling machine. So normally it would be used to cut sort of three-dimensional um, shapes into wood or acrylic. Let's show some of these things that you've used on it. <laughs> Look at these. These you, used, you did ornaments. We just kind mm -hmm. of are getting out of the Christmas season. And this is how you did that, right? Yes. So I just uh, change up how I program the machine and run at a slower rate so that I don't break the bits. And I can just cut out circuit board in any shape that I want. And you use a, com a program. I'm going to step out over here. And this is what you use to do it. So how do you, mm -hmm. how does this work? So the computer talks to the machine and it programs up what's called G-code that'll tell the router where to go and how fast to go. Okay. Um, where to go in and start. And so they just talk to each other. So I program that up and it cuts out the shape. And you have a bunch of different shapes, like a library of shapes, right? Yeah. So how, and, and people, so, even you've done custom things, right? These are all Yeah, the so there's a bunch of different things. There's ornaments and like hearts. The robot ornaments that you showed mm -hmm. are on here as well. Um, someone specifically requested dog tags, so I devised a uh, program to cut one of those. Oh my gosh. Um, I also do custom state ornaments. I can like, put cutouts over your hometown and things like oh, that. So, fun. I mean, there's West Virginia, yeah. um, for example. Nice. So you just pull up which one you want, and then it talks to there. So can we show them how it works? Oh, yeah. All right. So we, this, she made the star already. We were testing it to, to see how loud it would be. But <laughs> this is all you do. So you pull it up there, and mm -hmm. this thing does the work then. Oh, my gosh. And before you had this, what did you do? <laughs> I didn't make ornaments. You didn't make <laughs> ornaments. So I stuck to very simple shapes, um, circles, squares, occasionally diamonds, things that I could manage using a drum roll and tin snips and, you know, normal household tools. Um, and then once I got this, I could program up shapes that I wanted to make specifically or do one-of-a-kind necklaces, um, just things I couldn't do by hand and certainly without any symmetry or fine finishing. Yeah, so how long would it have taken you to make a heart by hand before? 15, 20 minutes, and that doesn't count preparing the circuit board. And how long would it take you to make a heart with this guy? Uh, two minutes. Oh, my Maybe gosh. Maybe less. So you're able to do a ton more. And a lot more precisely. So they have a similar format where the processor goes, where the RAM chips go, where all the peripheral connections are. So I know that under the processor there's going to be a lot of, in this, I mean, there's a lot of information transfer right there. So there's a lot of traces and things going on physically on the board that look really neat. Yeah. So those are usually where I head first. Oh my gosh. So this, what is this thing right yep, here? That's right under the processor. So look at that. And this, and you use front and back of the board. For ornaments especially. shape it up, clean it up a little bit, and he's good to go. Yep. Wow. How many ornaments can you get out of one of these, do you think? Uh, depending on size and complexity of the shape, if I can fit them together easily, I can get 8 to 10. Um, if they're smaller, um, like I have little miniature science ornaments, oh. I can probably fit 15 or 18. Oh, my goodness. This is really, this is very relaxing, kind of watching <laughs> it, just watching it do the work there and seeing it come apart. Did you ever think that you would be doing this when you started this back in your sophomore Ooh. year college? I don't think so. Um, I wasn't even sure people would want it, yeah. let alone that I'd be able to turn it into a career. Um, I guess 
I just underestimated how much tech is involved in our lives and how much people can, uh, you know, associate with it or find it interesting or even just appreciate the science that goes into it. Yeah, and when did you have that moment where you were like, I've got something here? Uh, when I had them at a craft show. People had never seen it. It uh -huh. was, you know, very new. So I got a lot of really neat feedback about that. Yeah, and look at this. This is our, as we're just talking here, this is done. And check this out. I just can't get over this, the little star yeah. here. No, it doesn't want to come out, it wants to be stubborn. <laughs> wow. Uh, I guess it's really stuck. Yeah, that's okay. We've got this one to show <laughs> folks, and we just showed them how it was done. Go. But look at that. Look, she's got it. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> just made out of that. Look, what do you think, you guys? <laughs> that looks great. That is cool. It really is. Very neat. See, one person's Actually. trash is another. Treasure. And and Ashley is doing our Christmas shopping. She's buying. Yes. It. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs>